Hey everybody, welcome in to GoBlueRaiders.tv and time for a look at uh, what was the past week in Blue Raider Athletics and looking ahead, kind of giving you a schedule for things going on this week. Of course, a short week with Labor Day and uh, first of all, look back at the results of of action over the past week. Of course, on Thursday, football opened up with McNeese State and uh, took a 27-21 loss. On Friday, the volleyball team uh, playing in a tournament at Virginia Tech opened up play. They ended up going 2-2 two and two in the tournament, beating Harvard and Towson. Soccer lost to Vanderbilt 2-1 on Friday night, and on Sunday beat East Tennessee State by a margin of 7-1. Women's golf is uh, on the road. They're playing uh, this week at the Chris Bannister Classic. And uh, as we look at some of the other uh, schedule throughout the week, uh, we want to remind you that on Tuesday, women's golf will close out at the Chris Bannister Classic. And then uh, action moves until Friday when volleyball will be uh, playing Western Michigan in the Carolina Classic. Soccer will play at Tennessee Tech. Men's golf will be at the Carpet Capital Collegiate. And the men's and women's tennis teams will be hosting the Wally Tidwell Pro-Am at the Buck Bolden Courts here on campus. On Saturday, of course, football back in action as the Raiders take on the FAU Owls. It is the opening uh, game of the Sun Belt race for the Blue Raiders. Coming up in just a moment, we'll be telling you about uh, some promotions that you might want to take advantage of and uh, why your ticket is a little more valuable than just the price of admission. Also on Saturday, volleyball will play LSU. Men's golf, again, uh, down in Dalton, Georgia. Men's tennis, the Pro-Am. And cross country will be at the Powerade Invitational in Chattanooga. On Sunday, the soccer team will be uh, hosting Belmont in a 1 p.m. match at Dean Hayes Stadium. And men's golf will close out action down in the Carpet Capital Collegiate. A couple of highlights and uh, notes from baseball over the week. Uh, congratulations to Coach Jim McGuire. Finished out his staff. Coach Scott Hall has been uh, brought in. He will be the recruiting coordinator and will basically work on offense. Uh, Hall, by the way, is a Bedford County native but has been at Belmont for the last several years in uh, helping develop uh, that program into a uh, championship-level program in the Atlantic Sun. Also, Skyler Mead is the new pitching coach for the Blue Raiders. Skyler was a college World Series pitcher at the University of Louisville and then has been coaching for the last five years at Eastern Illinois University. They've won a couple of OVC championships and uh, he is uh, thought of uh, very highly in college baseball circles as one of the up-and-coming pitching coaches in all of America. A couple of awards for soccer this week as the Sunbelt Conference uh, gives out their weekly awards and the Blue Raiders swept the uh, Player of the Week honors for both offense and defense. And for the offensive side, Paige Gegline, a veteran on this Blue Raider club, uh, won the offensive award. And on defense, Emily Hartshorn, uh, who has done a great job in a very short amount of time for Middle Tennessee. So congratulations to all of those individuals. Also coming up this weekend, we want to remind folks, it is Hall of Fame weekend. And congratulations to the five inductees into the Blue Raider Hall of Fame. Mike Caldwell, one of the hardest-hitting defensive ends Middle Tennessee has ever had. Uh, he will be here on Friday night uh, for, for a ceremony on Friday night, and uh, but will not be here on Saturday. Um, his uh, young son will be accepting on his behalf. Uh, he's still coaching uh, in the professional ranks in the NFL and has a game coming up this weekend in Cleveland. Also from baseball, Jayhawk Owens, a great catcher for Middle Tennessee and a longtime minor league manager, uh, will be here, and uh, he'll be inducted representing baseball. Harry Gupton, who played ba basketball here in the 1950s, It'll be really interesting to hear some of his stories this weekend. Uh, he will be here for his induction. And for the first time ever, Middle Tennessee will induct two women in the same year. And it's very uh, appropriate that Diane Turnham is one of those women. Uh, she has been such a mainstay uh, in women's athletics here for nearly 30 years. In, uh, in, uh, as a matter of fact, the other female that's going in, Diane recruited. Uh, Tawanya Mucker, who was a terrific basketball player here in the late 80s for Coach Lewis. Lewis Bivens uh, will be inducted as well. So we invite you out to the induction ceremony on Saturday afternoon, 3.30 p.m. It's free admission, and it'll be set up very much like the NFL and the Pro Football Hall of Fame on the porch of the Kennan Hall of Fame building, and we uh, certainly hope for great weather for that. And it's really great to hear 
uh, the emotions as uh, some of these great student athletes from the past come back to receive the highest honor that they can be given by the Middle Tennessee Athletic Department. Kids Fest this weekend, 3 to 5 p.m. before the game against FAU. That takes place in uh, Reese Smith Field. So the inflatables, all the activities out there take place uh, from 3 to 5 p.m. And there's a special ticket price for Kids Fest. It's $8, and it includes the game, admission to Kids Fest, and a T-shirt. So uh, you might want to take advantage of that. Contact the Blue Raider Ticket Office, one triple eight yes mtsu for more information on that. So we also remind you, always go to GoBlueRaiders.com for more information uh, on any of the subjects that we've talked about. Well, folks, don't forget that your tickets are more or val- more valuable than just the face value. Uh, of course, you get to come into the game with your football tickets, but also uh, you can win some prizes that way. Number one, if the Blue Raiders score 42 points, one of our longtime partners, Toots Restaurants, with three locations in Rutherford County, if the Raiders score 42 42, you can turn your ticket stub in for five free wings. Also this year, Sonic, uh, if the Raiders win, you win compliments of Sonic. You can take your ticket stub in the next 48 hours after a home win and claim a, uh, a prize, a free item, uh, at Sonic restaurants. And if you don't have a ticket stub, you can go to GoBlueRaiders.com and print out the coupon for a free item uh, at any of the local participating Sonic restaurants. And last but not least, how would you like to win a $1,000 shopping spree at Old Time Pottery? Well, you can do it right here on GoBlueRaiders.com or actually on our sister uh, website, GoBlueRaiders.com, the mothership, as we like to call it. You can go in and by simply entering your email address as many times as you want, you can register that many times. And at the end of the month of September, we're going to be giving away a $1,000 gift uh, gift certificate and a shopping spree to old time pottery thank you for joining us today here on go blue raiders tv we'll see you at uh, floyd stadium this weekend and uh, be sure to follow all blue raider action on go blue raiders.com thanks for being with us here in the ascend federal credit union studio on go blue raiders tv